Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the identification of uh, histological section of vein. So, what is vein? Vein actually those blood vessels of our body that transmit the blood from different parts of the body to the heart. We know in the previous slide we have discussed about the uh, identifying characters of the artery and then we have discussed that the arteries are those blood vessels which actually carry blood from the heart to different parts of the body to supply the oxygen. Vein actually do the opposite function of the artery. It carries the blood after uh, using the oxygen which is present in various organs of our body back to the heart for further oxygenation. So there are three different types of veins we can see deep veins which actually located within the muscle tissue so they are very much deeply buried within the muscle tissue so they are not seen normally. Superficial veins that are close to the skin surface which we can see uh, in our uh, naked eye through our naked eye that uh, there are some bluish uh, vessels that are uh, prominent uh, on the skin and those are the superficial veins and there are one more vein that is pulmonary vein which is also considered as a very important one because that transport oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart for the distribution of all throughout the body. So we can see that this pulmonary vein is the exception. All the other veins actually uh, supply the deoxygenated blood from the body to the heart. Only the pulmonary vein is the exception which carries oxygenated blood as we have discussed also regarding the pulmonary artery. The largest veins in the human body are the superior and the inferior vena cava. You have to remember that the largest veins are superior and inferior vena cava. Now this superior vena cava it collects the blood from the upper part of our body and convey to the heart uh, in the right atrium of the heart better to say and uh, this inferior vena cava another great vein that collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of our body and also drain it out into the right atrium for purification. The smallest veins are called the venules, which we can call the branches of the vein. They receive the blood from the capillaries and transport it to the larger veins. So in brief, this is the vein. So you have to remember the exception, that is the pulmonary vein, which being a vein carries the oxygenated blood. So this is the structure of the vein. You can see this uh, figure, picture rather. Here the comparison between the vein and the artery has been given. Uh, you can see the difference that the uh, lumen, this is the lumen, uh, the hollow part of the artery. It is round and the vein is wavy. Okay, it is not round. If we compare the structure of the vein and the artery, we will see that all the three layers that are present in the artery all are present in the vein but you can see the difference uh, here that uh, that of the layers of the artery are much more thicker than the layers of the vein. You can see tunica, adventitia that is the externa that is the outer portion then the tunica media that is the middle part and the tunica intima that is the internal part. Smooth muscles are also present in both cases you can see this is the smooth muscle in case of the artery and this is the smooth muscle in the case of the vein and uh, this um, elastic property are also same in case of the artery and the vein. So this is the histological structure of the vein. Three layers are given here. The outermost layer is called tunica adventitia or tunica externa. Middle layer, as because it is present in the middle, tunica media. And the innermost layer is called tunica intima. It is present close to the lumen. So this is the lumen. You can see it is wavy in appearance. So wavy lumen. This is the histological structure. 
identifying characters as we have discussed just now presence of the three layers from outside inward tunica adventitia or tunica externa then tunica media then tunica intima and presence of the wavy lumen so if we compare between the artery and the vein from the standpoint of the lumen the artery have round lumen the vein have wavy lumen so it is the transverse section of mammalian vein that is the comes under circulatory system so the this is the reference section for your further study if you want to study further regarding the histological structure of the vein you can go through this books thank you so much for your patient listening don't forget to subscribe my channel for more educational videos like that feel free to comment in the comment box and this series of his logical section will continue to part 6 where we will see some other histological sections of some other organs of our body so long bye bye have a good day